Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, now we're coming up to uh, the 11th of January or 111 as that would be called in the States or the 11th of the 1st as we might call it here. And Scott Strosal has compiled a special puzzle to celebrate 111. And uh, I've got it loaded up here. Now this is a killer Sudoku. As you can see, all the cages given add up to 11, and there's four ones in the grid in a very symmetrical or, uh, array. And, I mean, it looks brilliant. I love, I love the look of this. Um, obviously, not every square is covered, so it's a kind of partial killer. But uh, let's see how this, how this solves. Um, you can try it below. Um, I've set it up, so give that a go first, and, and then maybe come back and watch me have a go at this puzzle. So, let's have a look here. We've got these four ones. Now, four-digit cages are quite useful, because that has to be made up of one, two, three, five. It's the only um, four-digit combination that makes up. 11. There's another one up here. In fact, the one has to be there. And the other cells have to be 2, 3, and 5. Now, what else can we do? They're, they're the only two four digit cages. There are some threes around, though. Threes are useful if they don't have a one in for sure, like this one, because it has to have a two in. And then the others have to be three, six, or four. Or five. There's only two ways to make up a 11 cage without a one, and that is two, four, five, and two, three, six. So that we know there's a two in there. There can't be a two here. Um, ah, and this 11 cage can't have a one in it either because of this one. This one. So there must be a two in that. And again, it can only use three, four, five, and six. Now that's good because that gives us two, three, four, five, and six in this box must all be in those yellow cells. So we've got one there. These three must be nine, eight, and seven. Um, this 11 cage along the top row can't have nine, eight, or seven. So it must be six and five. That's nice. Um, what a, oh, this one must be two, three, or four to make up the 11. What about this 11 cage? I don't know, it's not so obvious. This two, three, and five down here very quickly gives us, if neither two, three, or five can be in this 11, it must be four, seven. Um, what is that? Sure. Oh, where's the one in the top row? Now those are seven, eight, and nine. It must be here. That's good. That means this adds up to ten. I'm just wondering if the two, three, four, five, six over here limits that. Not probably enough. This can't have a nine in it, or it would need a repeated one. So nine must be in one of these in one of these two cells. Um, one, one, one down here has to be here. Oops. Ah, in fact, we can fill in all the ones because we've got enough information there. Yeah, that's all the ones in the grid. What's that telling us? These add up to 33, so four of those must add up to 11. No, oh, not all that useful. 33, 34, these must add up to 11. No. Crikey, where can I go next? What, what can we pick up? I mean, this must be 6, 8, or 9, making this one. Five, three, or two. I'm still not seeing what, where I can get something from. 
just feel there's something up here. This must be this must be two, three, or four. We've used up seven, eight, nine, five, and six. That makes this one. These add up to ten, so that's eight, seven, or six. It's not quite as limited as I would like. That must be two, three, or four. Okay, surely something. Ah, look, there's another 11 that doesn't have a 1 in it. So we need a 2 in that. Again, it's 2 with another pair that adds to 9. Ah, come on. Yeah, so the two in this cage has to be in this box. So those can't actually be two at all. This one can't be nine now. And this must be two because it can't be three or four anymore. Um, okay, that's nice. What can we do with that? These, three, that's a three, four pair. So three can't be in those. That must be three. Now that means, well, I think we could always have eliminated three or five from there. Ah, this now can't be two, three, six. So that must be two, four, five. So there's a six. This is now two and three. And because of the three above, we can order those. That makes this one a five. Um, now we've got two, four, five here. That one must be four because of the two and five, there must be a two there, so we can fill in five and two. And suddenly, a puzzle that seemed totally intractable is actually giving us something. That's so clever. I, I mean, I really like this puzzle, I have to say. Uh, that can't be a seven, that must be eight or nine. What about this? It can't be... No, nothing much there. Ah, we've got a five in there, so that has to be six. That can't be six now. Um, that can't be two. Hmm, this is... I mean, it, I love it. So interesting how this is working together. Six, two, one, two, five. These are four, nine, eight, and seven. That could be four, seven, or eight. But it couldn't be seven because we can't have a four here. So that's down to quite limited possibilities. Um, ah, that can't be two, three, two, or three. So this involves either four, seven, or five, six. Um, so, what's that telling us? Three, four, six, one, two, five. These are seven, eight, four, nine, and definitely include nine. Um, these cells add up to fifty-five. Five volts of eleven. 45, by the rule of 45, must be in this box. So these are 10. So these two add up to 9. Hmm, it's not quite as helpful as I was hoping. One of these is a 5. 3, 2, 1. There's a 10. No. How about along the bottom? No, we know that those add up to 11, but that's not telling me anything yet. 6 must be in one of those, because of that 6. Ooh, 1, 3, 4, 6, 2, 5. Can't quite see what else we're getting at the moment. I knew that was two, five, six. I could limit the five there, but I don't. Uh, 
Um, hmm. So few places to go. Okay, down this column. 11 there, 10 there, that's 21, 11 there, 32. These two add up to 13. Doesn't really help yet. Um, I've got an 11 there and an 11 there. Okay, yes, yeah, so I think we can work on, on this issue. They add up to 55 because a single box of 1 to 9 must add up to 45. These are 10. So these two cells add up to 9. Now, they can't be 6, 3. We've already got a 6 in the column. Um, they can't be 1, 8 because 1's already used as well. So they could be 5, 4 or 2, 7. Could they be 5, 4, though? Well, obviously not 5 above and 4 below. And if it was 4 there and 5 there, well, actually, this 11 cage would need another 5. So that's not possible. So they must be 2, 7, which is surely useful. Well, it rules out 7 from there. So that's an 8, 9 pair. Um, that puts 7 here. Seven there, and that gives us three, four. Now we're doing some good stuff here. Six, eight, nine, one, two, seven. This is three, four, five, so it can't be seven there. This it can't be two or six. This is three, four, five. That's a triple there. Now that three, four, five, I think that is very useful. This now has to be one, two, eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. This is a 679 trio. Um, the 25 pair has been resolved now. 649 down here, 217. Oh, what a brilliant puzzle. That's 3 or 8, that's 3 or 5. Now, to go with 2 or 7, this must be either 8 or 3. And this is an 11 pair. We've got 11, 11, 11, 1, leaves another 11 pair. That has to be 3 and 8. So that has to be in that order. That fixes the 2, 7. The 3, 2 pair over here is resolved. Now, we've got 8, 9, and 6 to go down there. And this 8 is conclusive about that. And now I think we might just be finishing off at this point. What a lovely puzzle. I mean, that's really worked beautifully. If uh, Scott came up with that just to commemorate um, 1.11, it's really worked in a lovely way. Now, that 7 has to, can't be possible, so 3.8 there. 4 and 7 in those two. 6 and 9 in those two. 9 pairs resolved. Um, we're not quite finished yet. Now, we, we worked out that that plus that is 13. Oh, yeah, this must be 5, 6. So that's 8, 4, 7 to make up the 13. This one's the 9 now. This is 5, 5, 6. So this must be the 2, 9 pair because there are 2 up there. This is the 4, 7. Gives us six four there. Now that's resolved the six nine pair up here. And then three eight one. So the two in this eleven box must be here now. This can't be three or four, so that must be three or four. So three eight one four seven five nine six eight one. Uh, this is a four to make up the eleven. Okay, and that's resolving things all over. Uh, there's a four there, and a five. Six, four, nine, two, yes, that's resolved. Five, six, three, eight, seven to go in down here. It's a beautiful, beautiful logical puzzle. This. I think this is all right. Nine. Six and nine there, that resolves the seven, six there, and that finishes the seven and five. 
What a clever puzzle. That's a really good one, I think. So I hope you enjoyed solving that yourself. Really nice puzzle from Scott. Thanks for sending it to us via Twitter. You can also get in touch with us on email at um, crackingthecryptic at gmail.com, I think. And do feel free to subscribe to us if you haven't already. Sponsor us on Patreon if you possibly can. Thank you very much for your support generally and for watching the videos. And I uh, hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic.